Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing kind of a patriotic star swirl design. I got my inspiration for this design from Kate Dugan with Northern Rose Gifts. She's insanely talented. I'm gonna have her shop and her social media linked down below so you can check her out. I absolutely adore her. And we're gonna be using all the glitters from May's Peachy Palette. So I think you guys are gonna love this video. You're gonna find all the products that you see listed and linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. And of course, be sure to check out all the links for our social media. You guys can find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You'll even find a link for the Flynn Sisters community group, which is a great place to get help with my tutorials and connect with other people in the Flynn Sisters community. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so as usual, I'm starting with a fully prepped and sanded cup. If you need help on how to prep your tumblers, I will put a video down below in the description box that you might find helpful. I just wanna show you really quick how I spray paint the base colors for the swirl. I started with the white because I wanted to make sure that I had a good, you know, like wider white section up at the front there because I am going to be placing a decal in that white section. So I wanted to make sure I had enough room for it. Then I moved on to the red and made kind of a skinnier red swirl section plus a small accent of red along the white swirl. Then I kind of filled in with the blue. Now I kind of just started layering colors and blending until it all fit together. Very similar to how I would spray paint the base colors for a gypsy swirl. I'll link my original gypsy swirl video down below in the description box because I go more into depth on the spray painting in that video. I'm using Rust-Oleum Flat White, Rust-Oleum Apple Red, and Rust-Oleum True Navy for my spray paint colors. Here you can kind of see where I'm trying to like map out that white section for my decal to make sure that I have enough room for it. Um, and even though I am spray painting outside, I'm still wearing my organic vapor respirator because it's not very windy out and I get a lot of overspray that I tend to breathe in when I spray paint without my mask. So better safe than sorry. Anyhow, you'll also notice that I'm taking very short, quick bursts of spray rather than long, continuous sprays. This will definitely help with your drips. I also store my spray paint at room temperature and I shake all colors for at least 60 seconds before I start spraying with them. All right, so now our spray paint is definitely dry. I did put it in front of a small space heater to try and speed up the drying process. And also, I wanted my cup to be a little bit warm to the touch so that when we apply our epoxy over it, it'll just glide on like butter. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already mixed five milliliters of epoxy here. And we're going to use less than one milliliter of that. So I'm just going to dip my finger in there one or two times. And that is all the epoxy that we should need. And you just wanna go over and make sure that you got all of the surfaces of your cup. Okay, looks good. And now we are ready to glitter. For the colors, I'm gonna be using all the colors that were included in May's PG palette from PG Olive Glitters. So I've got Liberty, Salty Beach, Dogs, 1776, and Hedwig. We're also going to use Mr. President later on. This was not in the palette. This is an older color. So I'm going to set this aside to use later. I'm going to start with my chunkiest color, which is in this case is probably Dogs and Salty Beach. I 
kind of conservative with this color. I don't want to use too much of it in this design. Just enough to put a little depth into that red section. Next, we're going to go through with Liberty. As with any of my swirl designs, I always start really conservatively with my coverage. And right now we're just kind of laying out the roadmap for where our colors are going to go in the design. So we're not aiming for full coverage yet. Next we're going to go in with 1776. This is a finer cut, so we're just going to do really light dusting here. before we move into our lighter color. We're going to put Hedwig through the center of this white. And add in a little bit here just for a little bit of added interest. Very similar to how I would glitter a Gypsy Leopard, we're just kind of changing up the colors. Then I'm going to go in with Salty Beach. And we're going to put that around our white section just very lightly. Just for a little added detail through that white. Salty Beach is kind of more of a uh, silvery color than it is white. So not too much of that, just a little bit. Again, we're building all these different colors and textures to build interest. Okay, now I'm gonna go back through with my blue. And from here, it's just a matter of layering colors until we get the coverage that we want. All right, and so here's what we ended up with. I really love how everything's turned out. So now I'm going to let this dry for about two to three hours before we move on to the next step. All right, you guys, so you're gonna to wanna to let that glitter dry for two to three hours on the rack and then aggressively tap off your excess glitter after it's dried. Then I spray sealed it with Rust-Oleum two times clear glass spray paint and applied my first layer of epoxy, which was just 30 milliliters of epoxy and that wasn't quite smooth enough. So I applied a second coat at 20 milliliters of epoxy after about six hours. And then I let that second coat dry for about eight hours before we moved on to the step that you're watching here. This is where we're gonna add our colorants and the marbling stuff. So I've mixed 30 milliliters of epoxy and I'm going to apply 15 milliliters of that to my cup. And with the remaining 15 milliliters, I'm going to divide that up amongst two other medicine cups. So what we should be left with is three medicine cups with five milliliters of epoxy each. Then I'm gonna start mixing in my colorants. Today I'm using the Star Spangled set from Stay Fresh with Pina. It's a really beautiful mica color set this red, white, and blue. And for the white, it was like a little bit too pearly. So I ended up mixing in some Alumalite white epoxy dye. Just one drop was enough and I was able to achieve the white color that I really wanted. All right, and then once we've got all our colors mixed up, we're ready to start the marbling process on our cup. So today I'm using this silicone brush thing to apply my colors. 
And sometimes I'm like drizzling the color and then sometimes I'm just sort of like painting it on. Either way works. I just want to be kind of conservative in what I'm putting on the cup. You don't want to be drizzling a bunch over it because then it's going to be hard to manage and it's just going to get all cloopy and gloopy and we don't want that. We want to control the direction of the color. All right, so we're just going to carefully brush in a little bit here and there in the same colored sections from our glitter. But certainly you can do this in any kind of order that you want. You can paint the colors however and wherever you'd like. This is just kind of what I thought would look pretty. So moving on through all the glitter or colored sections, I'm going through the red now. If you find that you kind of messed up on your placement, you could just scoop it back out with this silicone brush. It's really handy for that. I would not try to wipe it out with your glove if you're in a high contrasting section like this red over the white because it's just going to smear through it. Instead, scoop it out with your silicone brush much easier and it ensures that you really get all of that color out if you make a mistake. All right, and then I'm gonna go a little more heavy handed with this white here and also drizzle it into some of the other colored sections just to add some more like interest and dimension there. And then once I've got all my colorants on there how I like, I'm gonna start fanning out some of the colors with my heat gun. If you aim your heat gun really close at the colorants, it's going to kind of fan them out and move them in all kinds of different directions and give you a really pretty lacing effect. You'll see what I mean once you get into this process. I like to turn my turner off when I do this just so I have a little bit more control. And obviously you don't wanna concentrate this on any one area for too long of a time because you could scorch and burn your epoxy. And we wanna try and keep the cup in motion as well so that we don't get any pooling on one side. So I'm just gonna continue with that until I get a look that I like. Remembering that we have like a very limited amount of time. I can't be at this all day. Uh, but anyhow, once I've got the colors kind of fanned out how I want, I then start editing with a clean glove. So by editing, I mean I just scoop out any sections that might have gotten a little cloopy or gloopy or just doesn't look right. And I'll just, again, just scoop that out with a clean gloved hand and wipe it on my parchment paper down there. All right, and then once I'm all done with my colorants, I'm just going to sprinkle in some of this Mr. President glitter. This is a beautiful chunky mix from PG Olive Glitters. It's got chunky reds and blues and some silver holographic stars. Absolutely love it. And I'm just kind of putting that into certain sections of my swirl here that I wanna add some extra depth. We're gonna let that dry for about four to six hours, and then I'm going to apply epoxy right over that. Just because with what we did, it's not going to dry smooth, and I do need a smooth layer before we move on to our decals. So I've got 20 milliliters of epoxy here. I'm just going to apply that like I normally would, and I'm gonna let it dry for eight to 12 hours before we move on to the next step. Our next step is to do our routine sanding. <laughs> so same sanding that you guys see me do in every video. I'm not gonna go too much into depth with this, but mainly I'm just sanding around my top and bottom rim, and I'm gonna knock down any kind of like pokey bits that might be kind of poking out from the sides. I do not want to sand over that little white section though because I am gonna be putting a clear decal on there and I want it to be nice and shiny. So if you do need to sand over that white section at this step, you'll wanna consider just putting another epoxy layer on first before we move into the decals. Okay, and then once I'm done sanding, I'm going to wash my cup off with some dish soap and water and dry it off with some paper towels. All right, and so for our decals, I'm going to use one of those super cool clear decals from Sarah with Banff Custom Creations. I absolutely love these decals. You guys, I've done a full review on these before. If you wanna see that video, I will link it down below. These are clear sticker decals that were printed with a white opaque ink. So they're not see-through like water slide and they are not like printable vinyl and they are not like white water slide either. They are so fun and easy to work with and they don't have to be sealed. So this is 
just like sticking a sticker on our cup. Usually what I like to do is peel off half that backing, then cut it, then re-put the backing onto the back of my decal <laughs> so that I could tape my decal to the cup and measure it to make sure it's even first and then apply using something similar to the hinge method like you see here. This is going to help me kind of push out all the bubbles and ensure that my decal is on my cup nice and even and it's not crooked. All right, so that's all we're going to do for that. And then I'm going to show you guys how I did the stars. Super simple to do. I ended up finding this like cool star decal file on Etsy. It was 90 cents. And yeah, I know what you're saying. Like I could have just created this myself, but the 90 cents was completely worth it to me to avoid the 30 minutes that I probably would have spent trying to size and shape a bunch of these stars like this. So I just, whatever, I just bought it. <laughs> I'll link the file down below if you guys want to use the same file. But anyway, you just want to ungroup both the star outlines and the solid stars and then move them closer together and then size these at about 10 inches tall. Um, and you also want to rotate them so that they're straight instead of diagonal. Then you'll attach them both together so that you can cut all of these on the same mat while still getting the sizing that you, we want. So you can see here what it will look like on our mat. And I just cut this with a uh, regular permanent white vinyl. Okay, I've already got my stars cut and weeded. And then I just hand placed these on the cup. So um, I just kind of did a little random pattern, concentrating the smaller stars at the bottom and the top. And then the larger stars I reserved for like the middle. Um, and I did end up putting 50 stars on this. <laughs> so, so if you guys use the same cut file that I did, you should have plenty to do 50 stars in total. I think the cut file comes with 60 stars. So that way you're not having to cut extras. Uh, but anyways, once I got all the stars on there, I was ready for my final coat of epoxy. This cup took two final coats to get totally smooth. And that was it. We were done. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Kate, I hope I made you proud. I love how this turned out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And if you like my video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss a new video. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.